We begin now with a breaking news report that we have been following all day. A deadly shooting that followed a police chase. Investigators say it's a murder-suicide. The victim, a beloved mother and Jackson State student. Police say the man who shot and killed her is her ex-boyfriend. 12 News' Linnea Lewis talked with the victim's mother. She joins us now live from Canton. Linnea? Melanie Suzanne Briscoe said her daughter was getting ready to graduate from Jackson State University in December. But instead of her finishing school and being a mother, her life was taken by her ex-boyfriend. May 8th, Jamarquez Black was arrested and charged with domestic violence and aggravated stalking of his ex-girlfriend, Fionisha Ratliff. He was on my porch, climbed up my house, looking down in the window, stalking her. He was given a bond of $15,000 and bonded out on Monday. But police say Thursday night, he went back after Ratliff. Briscoe says the man jumped out the bushes when her daughter got home, dragged her down the street, and shot her sister in the leg who tried to save her. She didn't hear from her daughter again until Friday morning. Early this morning, he was calling, had her calling me off his phone and told me to take her baby to um, his auntie house. And he was going to bring her back safe. That didn't happen. Authorities were able to ping Black's phone overnight. His vehicle was spotted along I-55 Friday morning, and that's when police went after him. During the pursuit, Briscoe would hear from her daughter one last time. She would say, Mom, just know I love you. I was Alex, the sister that got shot. <laughs> she was just telling me how she loved me, and she loved me, and tell everybody that she loved them. Authorities say Black killed Ratliff in the car and turned the gun on himself along I-55 in Bogachetta. It was an emotional interview for Ms. Briscoe, as you can see, but she wanted to let other people know about the dangers of domestic violence. Live in Canton, Linnea Lewis, 12 News.